Good morning. Good morning. I yes, saw. that's a black bear sitting there. Yes. Oh, got to, you know, release my brakes. I think it wants to cross the road. We'll see. Right by that runaway sign on the right hand side, a black blob on the bottom, black bear. That's right in the bottom of the ditch there. Hey, buddy. In one and a half kilometers, arrive at Highway 23 on the left. We'll leave you alone there, bud. <laughs> so it's a teenager again. A nice, nice looking black bear. All right, we're uh, headed down the hill to uh, the North Arrow Lakes Ferry between Shelter Bay and Glenham Bay. We're, we're uh, going to be waiting at the Glenham Bay here. Um, you guys noticed in yesterday's video, we only had two camera. Anyone notice that? Well, I shot video with three cameras, but when I went to take the camera down, it didn't exist anymore. So it's on the highway somewhere behind us. That was our newest camera too. A little disappointing. Note to self, we're going to buy some aluminum mounts. Remember, what, two weeks ago where we had the plastic mounts break? That kind of gave me some pause. Well, guess what? More plastic mounts broke, so we're going to order some aluminum extensions. And? And, uh, oh, try to do a second mount with a tether on it. Because buying a sticky mount with a tether is probably worth more than losing a $400 camera. I was just thinking through your state pocket. I'm going to stop here and let Jess jump out because there's restrooms at the top here. Not much of a walk. Uh, it's not much of a walk at all. No, it's long enough of a... Long enough of a line that it's not much, so... We're going to wait for the ferry now. Green light. Looks like she gave me no direction at all. So I'm just gonna go where I think I need to go. I think she looked at me and go, yeah, dude knows where he's going. <laughs> Loaded. I didn't show you guys the wide load. Well, I did on yesterday's video, but um, you know, the camera got lost. <laughs> so, yep, 11 feet, six and a half inches wide.
She's a little uncomfortable to go down the roads, the narrow, narrow roads. Leaving Glenna Bay, held, headed for Shelter Bay. It's uh, 10.30 now, so since we got up 5 in the morning, we're going to go have lunch now. It'll work out just perfect. And should get to our destination, or close to our destination where we're going to sleep tonight, at around supper. Upper Arrow Lake, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful landscape. And then of course, up north toward Revelstoke. I guess this is all part of the Columbia River as well. So we are on the Columbia River. As we talked about on last week's video, Columbia River flows southbound here from Revelstoke down to uh, Castlegar and then into the US. Anyway, I'm gonna go eat some lunch. I'll catch you guys down the road. There's nobody in that truck beside us. Well, I wanted to be the last one going off the ferry, but... Continue on Highway 23. And they're walking up to the truck going, ah, oh, where's the driver? Probably in the washroom, didn't realize we were docked already. slow enough at least that he can get by me. I don't know that other truck still wasn't moving either. The pickup and the big rig behind us weren't moving. I guess it wasn't really a big rig, it was a non-architect. Ar non oh boy. Arctic. Articulation, there we go. Non-articulation truck, four axle, crane truck. And the pickup apparently sleeping on the <laughs> on the ferry. Anyway, Revels looks 48 kilometers away. We're gonna see some beautiful road down probably Trans Canada Highway One. Maybe maybe we can record uh, Three Valley Gap. Revels took to Three Valley Gap. Yeah, okay, let's do that. See you down the road there. the river right behind us, Rebel Spoke right behind us. Let's carve some more corners on our way up to uh, Three Valley Gap. Once you're ready for your microphone, it's right there. Speed limit is 100 on this highway, which is too fast. 
around a lot of the corners with a big rig. Definitely have to slow down more than that. Even if there's no warning sign to tell you. Hey, there's a train down there. Uh, Rebel Stoics so of the Canadian Pacific. Down on the lower track there. Too bad it wasn't on the top track. If you want to watch these trains on live cam, just look up uh, Rebel. Just search in YouTube, Rebel Stoke Train. There's a live camera watching these trains going through. being on a little bit of a wider highway. I can just drive normal here. Almost normal. Just have to hug the white line. But other than that, normal driving. Those narrow roads that were on yesterday's video. Yeah, those, those get stressful. This year I'll be able to turn cruise control on once we get through all the corners that uh, Free Valley Gap. You bring us a snack? you're looking up. If you ever sent those photos and I don't see photos. So it's a being if we should just respond as you maybe after lunch. I guess it is after lunch but I'm thinking maybe around one o'clock or so. Oh 
Bossman called you and emailed you. Bossman did call me. Sounds like we'll be doing some gravel roads tomorrow. Sounds like it's somebody that will follow you around. I want to call that contact tomorrow morning. Maybe I should call that contact today. Stopped on a siding. So this might be a westbound train that was stopped for that eastbound train. There might be more than one eastbound train. Yeah, there's the front of it sitting right there. This is a nice little lake to go kayaking on because I can uh, watch trains while, ki while kayaking, do some fist pumps while kayaking, get the trains to honk at us. That was epic. That was fun. Okay, you, you got a snack in your lap. What, what are those? Oh, these are wafer rolls. Wafer rolls. It says happy swing roll on it. Yeah, so these are the normal hazelnut ones that people think of. These are coconut. They look like straws. Yeah, they're just wafer rolled up with a coconut filling. I don't know where they're imported from. I looked it up last time. Produced by a company in Poland. Can we have some? I thought you would never ask. What are you holding them there for? Maybe more than important. Just to look at and talk about? Very much. Sometimes you just gotta shake your head. different flavors but I like the coconut one. I probably would like the uh, chocolate or we've, vanilla. We've done the chocolate one. The most. I don't think we've tried the vanilla one. The chocolate I like. The hazelnut I'm allergic to so I would get that one. This is pretty good. But I love coconut. That they're very light snack. If that makes sense. But are they really, if you read the ingredients, are they really light? Are they low on sugar and salt? Oh, 
there's a train coming right there. It's eastbound. We're westbound. Yeah, these are really good. Oh, I see three Valley Gap. Recommendation if you guys are going to stay over here, spring and fall. None of the uh, units you stay in have AC in them. It's a little hot in the summer out here. We've never stayed, but. In fact, we've never visited. And they got two race trucks on the back. Yeah. Where's truck racing happening? You can see the train on the other side of the lake. It's a long one. I'll have one more. That's the end of the train right there. Thanks. Those are good snacks. I should like that you have a little some of the sweets after eating this up. This is definitely a trucker's highway. <laughs> um, this is Canada's biggest highway. I know, a little hard to believe. This is Trans Canada Highway number one. It goes from Victoria, BC, all the way to St. John's, Newfoundland. And big sections, big, big sections of it are four lane, but over here it's two lane and an occasional passing lane. They're working on four laning it. But, you know, mountains, it's expensive putting in four-lane highways here. most dangerous sections first, not the easiest sections first. The most expensive and the most dangerous sections first. Which makes sense if all of a sudden there's a change of government and the government decides not to continue the four laning of this highway. At least we got the most dangerous sections fixed. There's a lot of these narrow bridges that make me nervous. So far we're hitting them all with no oncoming traffic, but... Well, thankfully... I would have been kind of after yesterday's video. That wide load house is like really pulled over. Yeah. Yeah, if we had met that head on, well, that would have been an impasse. They were on that narrow road, too. Now we've really lucked out on everything so far. Other than that one person that was walking on the sidewalk with, or not on the sidewalk, on the shoulder with traffic. Not even really a shoulder there, it's just on the white line. Ferry. Yeah, ferry was super easy. Yeah, that was kind of nice. It's 
So yeah, if you guys go to last week's video where we drove from Rogers Pass to Revelstoke and watch this video right after that, it's basically the same highway continuing. on the other side of the lake. That's a shame I can't get that on video because Rockineer going through, Rockineer, Mountaineer going through here. That's pretty awesome. Not often you get to see the Mountaineer. It's basically a, a railroad cruise. It's not like a cheap route train ride. It's a high-end train ride. It's, it's a scenic train ride call it like a railroad cruise. It's expensive. We've looked at prices and go, eee! gotta be a little uh, better financially prepared to go on that ride. What happens for a cruise in own general? Yeah, it, it, it's, it's a cruise. Don't think of it as a train ride, think of it as a cruise. I said this highway is speed limit is 100 kilometers per hour. It is variable speed limit, so these digital signs can change to a lower speed limit. But then they'll never go higher than 100. Waters have rescinded here quite a bit too. Because they were getting really close to the highway. It was a week, week ago, week and a half, two ago. Whenever I came by here last time. Two weeks ago? We came through here on Friday. Friday, yes, you're right. <laughs> You'll figure it out. No, nope, you didn't. Yeah, last week. Not that long ago. It is Tuesday, so. You have to do that, don't you? Wednesday. There you go. Fine. Ruin the magic of, you know, the inter interwebs. Have to always do that, huh? Oh, well, you're editing. You can just easily, you know, edit that out. I have to edit that out now. Another oh look, train. another train. Change the subject. <laughs> or we can all vote to take my microphone away. From who? From you? Yep. People asked for a microphone for you. Yep, but, but if I ruined the magic. That was an expensive microphone, but we finally got that. Finally found what we needed. Empty uh, coal train. You know, a light one. One engine on the front. I think how long it is. Let's see if there's a mid unit and a rear unit. I'm drinking a 
WD-40 in my chair. There's the mid unit. I think they call them uh, MPUs, mid power units. You have to WD-40 your chair. Yeah. You can just go right ahead. As this truck gets older, more and more and more things are going to click. Yep. You just need to buy me some good headphones. Not those big ones back there, but those work, I guess. Like the pair you pointed out at the store the other day, Bluetooth ones. A lot of drugs? Yeah. Find me a pair of those and then I can put my music on. But then you wouldn't talk to the YouTubes at all. Well, maybe they would sing you, and that's a horrible idea. But at my eh, let's do it. Let's do it. Can't suggest singing. Crazy Creek, stay, soak, play. I've so. never been there yet. You have, but I've I have. I've been here a couple times. So. It's not much to see. It's pretty cool, pretty cool water rapid and stuff. If you're, I, I would find more interesting places to go. But if you're coming from the prairies and need a place to stay, Crazy Creek is a pretty good, pretty cool place to visit. It's a tourist trap for sure. It's basically just a suspension bridge over that creek. And it doesn't, there's no waterfalls, it's just, uh, just rapids, very aggressive rapids, kind of the, the line between a waterfall and a rapid. Okay. Well, I have a hot pool too, it says. Uh, those are just hot, it's just the heat pool. It's not hot, it's not hot springs. Yeah. So it's just marketing. It's a cool place, just not as cool as they make it out to be. No, it's actually hot. Okay, fine. <laughs> you win. I thought it was funny. I guess. I like you when I said it, the rule for rivers. So yeah, we do not have a backhaul yet from Williams Lake. Boss is looking for one, but nothing yet. actually kind of surprising. There's quite a few lumber mills around that area. Yeah, but all the trucks going north for construction deliveries are stealing yeah. all the loads coming back. So the backhauls that are up there are probably very low paying backhauls. Might even still lose money with those loads. I suspect we're going to play around all day with this load tomorrow, unloading it. It's only four and four, so it shouldn't take that long. Yeah, but it's two hours between the two sites. Yeah. The crane's not showing up till 8 a.m. at the first site. And it's down some gravel roads. And yeah, it's probably going to take all day. That's why we were supposed to get some photos and stuff as no sensors to know where we're going. So 
focal. Going the same direction we are, this time loaded coal, I think. If I'm the right time to. What you doing, forward. car? One way or the other. I can't see if it's loaded, but I would assume that it's going this direction is loaded. It wouldn't make sense having empty coal cars going two separate directions. Is that like six or seven trains now? I can't. Yeah, we've seen quite a few trains. We've we've picked train uh, train rush hour. If you pull off over here at this rest area, it's called Last Mike Historic Site. Uh, you can see the trains come right by. This is where the last bike was laid to connect the Canadian Pacific Railroad. loaded yet. Yeah, it had to be loaded. I couldn't see. It wouldn't make any sense if it wasn't. I'm like, once we get high enough, I can see you do it. Alright, Alberta, where are you headed empty? That's a good question. from Alberta and heads to uh, the coastline, gets put on boats and goes to, I think, different locations um, in Asia. Kilometers are three one 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 one. It's a little weird. Yeah. Front end of the train. Car's not passing us. Okay. We'll go for it then. That dunnage down there is held in by one bungee. Don't hit the sides, don't hit the sides, don't hit the sides. <laughs> Farmers are now have enough grass on their own field, so they're not buying hay right now. So this is the time of year I was stuck up. I think that's what the farmers do. They stock up on them. I think they're out of money though, the farmers. They have to sell their cows first or sheep or whatever. Yeah before they can afford to buy more. I try looking up how much cows sell for and they got really confused and really fast. It's, it's not a big profit margin to be in that business. Cattle farmers and sheep and 
the other one livestock. Not a lot of profit. Not a lot of dollars profit you've made off of each pig by the end of the year. Getting warm out, it's now 25 degrees Celsius. Time to turn that AC on. Coming up on Sycamus. Kind of nice having these uh, four lane sections over here just to get traffic spread out a bit again. What you're looking up? Oh, just said should I find stuff that I have cell service. Ah. You know. Well, I might have a chance all day, really. Cats, yeah, so we've been in no cell service pretty much all day? Yeah. Yeah. I try to keep on top of all your comments that you guys uh, share with me. Uh, whenever we have any spare moments, I'll fire it up and read a few comments. Some days I'm fall behind. So there's rock work happening something. You'll have to repeat that. Rock work. Rock work. Rock scaling. Rock work. Rock scaling. Where? South of Addicted. I thought that was last year. Are you doing it again this year? It's going to the end of June. Yeah. Two-year project. Now you have delays north of town and south of town. See, we have frontage roads over here too. Of course, there still are intersections on this highway. This is not a freeway. again is going to try passing here near the end of the passing lane. Oh, Big Rig's going to try it too. What are you going to do here? falling back. So I need to make a decision, either go hammer down or slow down. Uh, if you hammer down, I will slow down, but you need to make a decision. What's that part is you're doing speed limit, so is that like your slow one? Definitely not slow. No comment on the speed limit. 
going at a speed, I feel comfortable going next to that cop that we passed a little bit ago. That's the speed I'm going, which I guess would technically be the actual speed limit. I guess you could debate that the actual speed limit is not what is posted. When you go down to Texas, if you're not doing 15, 20 miles over the speed limit, you're not doing the speed limit. When you go to certain set parts of Washington, if you go one mile over the speed limit, you are speeding. Depending on where you are, the actual speed limit is not what the sign says. I know Manitoba, when I talked to the RCMP officer there, he said 10 over, just do 10 over. That's what everybody does. We're not ticketing for 10 over, do 10 over. Talked to an RCMP here in BC, and she said 20, 25 over. Not getting a ticket. Of course, each officer is different too, right? So don't hold me out on that. But I would definitely argue that the actual speed limit is not the posted speed limit. And don't be the dumb kid that takes more sick on the Coca-Cola. At 200 and something kilometers an hour? Uh, yeah. Yeah. That kid was dumb. You can't even tell me how much that is a mile per hour. Uh, how many kilometers? It was over 200. I can't remember if it was 209 or not. Like that. that would be uh, in miles that would be 180 miles over 180 miles really right no 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 120 120, 120. miles yep sorry math bad 120 miles. Over 120 miles per hour on a motorcycle. On a freeway. With traffic. With a fake license. And, and which means you can't be risking it like and that. He was dumb because he would have gotten away with it, other than when you're doing that kind of speed, when you slow down, it feels very slow, right? When you're going that fast, and all of a sudden you're going really slow to slow down, he did a U-turn on the freeway, he did a U-turn in the center lane. He thought he was going really slow on the U-turn, but dude was still going way too fast and completely wiped out. Put himself in the hospital and in jail. Yeah. Unless after he, two days before that, he ran from the cops and did the same thing at high speed. Got away with it the first time, not so much the second time. Which means he has to answer for it the first time as well. That, that That's all going to go. Well, they can verify it was him on that same bike, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just think you're lucky to be alive after that. Yeah, just, just ride and drive at the same speed all the local vehicles are doing. When in Rome, do as the Romans do, right? Drive the speed all the local people do. Welcome to Sycamus. We'll drive through town and then we'll call it a day. It's a bummer that we can't stop for ice cream. A Dutchman Dairy. Amazing. Yeah, I can't get a big rig in there. I'm thinking... I don't know if there's any... Dairy Queens along the way I can get a big rig into. 
but I'd be up for some ice cream if there is a spot I could get a big rig in. Um, but yeah, Dutchman, there's a homemade ice cream, right? Literally, the cows on site. The cows are in the backyard there. Yeah. That, that's where the ice cream came from. And they sell like cheese and milk and glass bottles, like butter. Pretty awesome. off on the left hand side here. I think I said that right. You can always pull into Cow Tire and act like you have a flat tire. Where is the actual ice cream place? Across from the tent, sir. Oh, the right over there. <laughs> yep, by the barn there. The red barn. They, they even call this a frontage road. Yep, frontage road. No trucks allowed on the frontage road. It's only because you would walk across the highway for. Timmy's. Uh, AW. AW. Timmy's, Timmy's is a, right there, yeah. so. He still pulled over. Looks like Bobtail's all pulling in there for for a coffee. No stopping signs all over here because it's such a popular place for big rigs to pull over on the shoulder that uh, one got hit and got killed because uh, his coffee was more important. Perhaps pulling off on the highway to get your coffee is not the best idea. I think if Timmy's really thought about it, they would just have drive throughs at the height of trucks. Truck drive throughs Yeah. yeah. Design truck drive throughs But special locations Holy here and there. Holy smokes, but that Timmy's got a lot of truck drivers. Yeah. Just randomly across the highway, buy a little property and do that. Don't even need truck parking, just the truck drive through you know? And I don't even know if you need to sell them besides coffee. <laughs> little small booth. Just coffee. Sycamus, houseboat capital of Canada. This lake sure does have a lot of houseboats on it. Hundreds of them. build a new bridge there so I bet they're starting to work on the basics to get this section four lane into Sycamore's. Nah, where was it? They told, them, they told us where the next one, next section is. I can't quite remember. That part of Highway 1 is never getting four lane. At least that's nowhere in the plans. The 
Kamloops. The plan is from Alberta border to Kamloops. I'm too curious. Because after that, everybody takes off. Like a hour. Anyway, as soon as I find the next pullout, that's their day here. Grab that camera before I lose another camera outside. I inspected the mount. It looks steady, sturdy. There we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. We are out of here. See you guys tomorrow on a brand new road we've never traveled. You guys rock. Adios.